To fall in love is such an amazing feeling. The heart is filled with joy and has this expanse. There's this feeling of spontaneous giving. And all of this is even when we just fall in love with another person. This kind of expanse we feel with someone who is as limited as us. Imagine how much more the expanse of our heart would be if we fell in love with the infinite, if we fell in love with the divine itself, the source of all life. This falling in love with the higher is called devotion or bhakti. Bhakti is explained in the scriptures as a virtue, as an internal asset, and also as a prerequisite for our spiritual involvement. It is the most powerful force on this earth, for love is the greatest source of power that we have. And when this love is directed to the divine, it brings about an immense kind of strength and transformation in our personality. When we love, we think about the other person and it reduces the selfishness in our hearts. Selfishness is the greatest cause of impurity and so love is the greatest purifying force. And when we love the divine, when we love the source of all life, then the one we love is everything else. What better way to remove the selfishness in our hearts. Some say that devotion is the easiest part to reach moksha, liberation. Others say all paths are difficult, but devotion is the most enjoyable. It's filled with the most source of joy. And others say that devotion is the only path, for without love, our lives would be dry and empty. All these are true, but my most favorite quote about devotion is from the great saint called Rumi. He says, fall in love, stay there.